And now, around the world and around the corner, it's the David Bowers Awards, bringing the best in indie music to millions of listeners worldwide with your host, the David Bowers. We've got a fantastic lineup of guests, as well as our engineer extraordinaire, Nick the Geek, our entire crew here at the Asylum, and me, I'm John Bon Jovial. And now, here's the voice of indie music, the David Bowers. Well, hello once again, and thank you very much, uh, John Bon Jovial, the legendary John Bon Jovial, as usual, talking to himself or with himself or something. But, <laughs> something <laughs> and also, welcome to our listeners around the world and in Rochester, New York, where we're heard locally on WRFZ FM 106.3, Rochester Free Radio. And we're also blasted away at the House of Guitars there in Rochester. So if you're in that area, you can just pull up a seat on the sidewalk in front of the House of Guitars and, and catch the show there. Although I would, I would suggest you go on inside and say hello to the guys because it's a fun place. They got a lot of interesting stuff and some great people. You know, if you're in Rochester, stop in at the House of Guitars and uh, tell them we sent you. We want to thank you all for being with us. We do indeed have a great show today with some exciting guests. We've got, uh, well, actually, we've got Ernest, the man from, uh, Ernest Glover, the man from the Independent Tone Awards, if you remember. We announced a couple of weeks ago that we have uh, joined forces with the Independent Tone Awards and will, in fact, be nominating uh, entrance for the Independent Tone Awards in December. And we invited you to send your names of the your favorite indie artists to us at david at the david com, and along with the uh, categories that uh, you would like them nominated in and uh, we will uh, consider all entries that are sent to us and select from them who we will in fact be nominating for independent tone awards so you can actually get in on the action and help us do the selection I want to salute also our house band titty bingo i was talking with them uh, earlier this week and they have been in the studio and have uh, several more sessions scheduled and by the time they get through, it'll probably be close to the end of the year, but they do have some exciting new music coming, and we are looking forward to the chance to uh, share that with you, which we will get as soon as, uh, as soon as the album is done and the music's available. We can look forward to that also. We also have today a return from uh, a band that we had on here some time ago, a band called Why, Why Not? And uh, they will be joining us with some new music coming up in just a little bit as well. So uh, we've got a lot to look forward to, and we're going to start it right now with a previous guest uh, who has a, a new track out. We're going to share it with you right now. For those of you who remember Wildfire, you're going to love this one. This is called Mama, Why Did Daddy Go? She's sitting on the front porch with her dog by her side Says if she stays there she sure he'll walk up through the front gate Six years old but she knows he went to fight a war last night And he told her he'd come home soon so near supper time she waits. She says, Mama, why did Daddy go? When's he gonna come back home? I really miss him, Mama, hold me close. Why did Daddy go? He's a soldier And like him she must be Great And he told her The name of the place He was going But it was too hard To say She tries her best His mama tucks her in To not be a 
But she lies awake wondering and worrying if he's okay. Why did Daddy go? They called themselves Wildfire, and that's their brand new release. We're happy and pleased to be able to debut it here on the David Bowers Award, the show where every show is an award show. And you, the listener, along with our guests, get to pick the award winners, and it's very simple. There's no nominating, no voting, no politicking or anything. If you've got somebody you think deserves an award for their musical achievements or because they did something incredibly dumb, Drop us a line, David, at thedavidbowers.com, and tell us about it. Give us their name and why you think they deserve an award. And who knows, we may do that award right here on the show. You and our listeners, and our guests, rather, uh, get to pick all the awards. And that goes for our new connection with the Independent Tone Awards. As we said, you get to help us select who gets nominated. Check out the independenttoneawards.com website and uh, check the categories. Then send us the names of your favorite indie artists and which category they're in. And uh, we'll look them over and see uh, who we uh, send along as nominations to the Independent Tone Awards. And we'll be announcing that in the fall. So get your entries into us so we can uh, check them out. Who knows? You may hear some of them again right here on the show. So uh, that's something to look forward to. And we're really excited about participating in the Independent Tone Awards this year. We want to shout out to our friends and uh one of which is a young lady by the name of Mary Perry in Rochester, New York. She's an accredited disability representative who underwrites the David Bowers Awards on WRFZ FM 106.3, our FM affiliate in Rochester, New York, Rochester Free Radio. Thank you so much, Mary. We love you, and we're so appreciative of the fact that you underwrite the show so that our listeners in Rochester uh, get to hear it on Rochester Free Radio. As uh, John Bon Jovial mentioned earlier, we got a lot of stuff going on. We've got some uh, interesting people to talk to, so we're going to get right into it in the, uh, in the very near future. Uh, we've got uh, another song we're going to play here in just a moment, but I want to give uh, want to give you a chance, John Bon Jovial. Uh, you haven't had too much to say today. How are things going in your corner of the world? Oh, just ducky. We got over a uh, the first tropical storm of the season a few days back. Uh, tropical storm Alberto. Of course, down here in southwest Florida, it really wasn't that impactful other than the fact that we got a bunch of rain. Uh, but it's supposed to hit the panhandle with 65-mile-an-hour winds, or at least it was supposed to. And uh, they probably got it a little bit worse than we did. But still, you know, after going through Hurricane Irma last year, uh, you know, 60-mile-an-hour winds, that's just a piece of cake. That's nothing. 
Uh, but we're okay. And there was no damage reported, no lives lost, no injuries. And so everything is okay down in this neck of the woods. I know that back up in North Florida, there was some uh, beach erosion. And I think there was some minor structural damage, but I haven't really heard of any um, uh, any uh, kind of injury that happened a few days back when uh, the storm hit. So we're all good here. How about uh, well, life there in the Valley of the Sun? We'll keep our fingers crossed that it stayed that way and that uh, nothing else uh, nothing else uh, negatively impacted uh, the area. I know it's the season. We are now officially in the hurricane season, so uh, your excitement continues here. Uh, well, we're uh, we're getting into summer. We have uh, broken a hundred a few times, and we are now more consistently in the low 100s and that's not too bad because it is as as you know it is a dry heat and we uh, we're averaging between five and ten percent humidity which is in fact dry but uh, other than that hey we're just rocking and rolling here waiting for our rainy season to come in in july they call it the monsoon season and uh, we get most of our annual inch or two of rain <laughs> during that season now actually we're supposed to get a little bit more than that i think the area gets uh, maybe 10 inches total on a good year. And uh, last I heard, we were under one inch for the year so far. So we got a long way to go. We're hoping for a rather yeah, well, rainy. we got you beat here. <laughs> yeah, you get more than that in an afternoon. I mean, come on. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> okay, we're going to get right to our first guest in about, uh, oh, four minutes or so, right after we introduce a brand new release from another former guest and award winner here on the David Bowers Awards. The group called themselves the Ivory Tower Project. Here's their brand new release called Ring Around Rosie. (laughs) 